Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm sitting in a really weird angle because I wanted to try something different right at the beginning of this video. So this is a writing routine of George R. R. Martin, the man that wrote Game of Thrones, the show that ruined the world. We're, we're going to do his routine. So George's routine is actually pretty simple. It's basically where you just don't write for six years. So his routine is pretty easy. He has the uh, gardener versus arc, uh, architect thing, which I want to talk about that later in the video. We're just going to do his routine, and then I think at the end we're going to actually talk about the difference between the two and where I feel like I fall in line at. His routine is actually pretty simple. It's not as complex as I thought. There's one thing where I think a lot of people will struggle with, but I don't think I will too much because my phone is what I use to record. So while I'm recording like my writing routine for him, I won't be using it. One of it is where you just stay off the internet, where you basically seclude yourself away from everything and you just write. And I think that's a very fine thing. And I like what George does too, is like there's some days where you only can write one sentence. And there's other days where you can just write all day. I actually really like that. And basically his thing is, I just write until you can't write anymore. And I think that's a really good way to do it. Because there's a lot of writers that always are like, oh, I write for four hours a day, even if it's one sentence. But I kind of like how George doesn't like push himself. But at the same time, clearly it shows that like, we still don't have a Winds of Winter. And who knows when the seventh book will ever come out. I think it's called A Dream of Springs or something. So there's that. He also does a thing where he talks about what, while you're writing, make sure you read out of that genre, which I think is a really cool idea. So like right now I'm writing a thriller slash mystery slash horror novel, I guess. I don't know. I want to put in the thriller aspect. I am actually currently reading Colin Hoover's Verity for a future YouTube video, so I guess it kind of works out for itself. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing how that goes and how that plays in with this writing. This book, the goal is to make it about 250 pages, which is about 62,000 words. And currently, I'm almost to 100 pages, which is awesome. I didn't expect to get there, but this book's actually really fun to, to write. And I'm actually pretty excited. But other than that, his routine is pretty simple. He gets up super early. I already did. I had to do a bunch of things today. So I decided, I'm like, I'm going to write after I go to the gym, after I do grocery shopping. And now everything is out of the way. So now I'm going to write. My goal today is to, usually on weekends in general, I try to re write for about 10 pages. So I'm going to try and write as many pages as I can, unless I feel burnt out. If I do feel burnt out already, I'm probably going to try and write on Sunday because today is Saturday so I'm gonna try to write on a Sunday as well with George's routine. Other than that I don't think I have anything else to really think about for his routine. I think it's a pretty straightforward routine. I I don't know for me as a writer I'm not trying to sit there and like gaslight myself but I'm just saying usually when it comes to a lot of routines or it comes to writing a lot I actually don't struggle with like writer's block or anything. I, I just write so I don't really struggle with that aspect. So I think Giorgio's routine is actually going to be fine for me because I'm just going to be writing. And I think that's going to be fun, and I cannot wait. So let's get into the writing, and then I'll talk about it while I write. So let's do this. Thank you. 
five pages. I actually need to eat. I haven't eaten yet. So we're going to have some mac and cheese. Homemade mac and cheese. Anyways, so the writing process is going pretty good. I wasn't expecting it to be too hard, but I am ex enjoying it, I should say. It's fun. And I think the silence, because he doesn't even have music playing, is actually pretty nice that I wasn't expecting it to be so much fun, but like you kind of get like lost in the sauce. And so I'm going to try and write another like 10 pages today. And I think I'm going to be able to do that. Should. Which is a lot. I, it depends on the books and depending on the scenes. Sometimes I can, I write like a lot. If you guys checked out like my old Instagram history stories of how many pages I write sometimes. It's kind of insane. But so far, I'm really liking it. The story is so close. Like, it's one of those books where you write and you're just so close. You're like, you, you can taste it. Because you, you know what's going to happen. But you're always like, oh, I'm so close to it. it. It's one of those things. And I really hate it because it's like, my girlfriend and I were talking about it. Because through this, it's through the lens of a woman and what she's afraid of, of like stalkers and stuff like that. So I'm asking like my girlfriend a lot of questions, how she feels about it. And it's really nice because clearly I'm a dude. So like my experience with these kind of elements is going to be a little different than a woman's uh, POV of it. So through all of this, I, I told her what my plan was on it. And she actually brought up an old thing that I was originally going to do. But then I was like, eh, that's kind of weird. But then she brought it up. I'm like, you know what? That's how it's going to end. Because I didn't really have an ending. But now I'm like, oh yeah. So now I'm like, oh man, we have so far to get there. But yet, it's fine. And what I'm doing is with this story is I'm also trying to make it feel like it's just like an everyday. So it feels kind of boring because they're slowly trying to figure this all out. But at the same time in the background, you're going to be through the POV of like the stalker a little bit too. Where what he is doing. So it's like those kind of elements. So when you're reading the main character's stuff, you might feel like it's kind of boring and repetitive, but like it, I'm making it as realistic as I could because it, it might be like that. So anyways, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm hoping to write 15 pages today, which would be so much fun, but we're going to eat and then we're going to get right back into it. Let's go. Alright, so I did finish George R. R. Martin's writing routine. And I gotta say, it was fine. I wrote for 15 pages, so that was pretty cool. I broke 100 pages today. Well, yesterday. This is me the day after. So I finished it, and it was actually fine. I mean, I enjoyed it. It, was, it wasn't, like, hard to do it. I don't think it was. I was expecting to go in and just seeing, like, a groundbreaking, like, intense thing. Yeah, we didn't get that. I want to talk about the architect, architect, why can I not say that word? The architect versus like the gardener. One is where you plan out everything. So you plan out how book one is, book two, book three, book four. As a gardener though, you plant seeds and let it grow. Like you start out a little scene and you just kind of let it do its own thing and you just are along for the ride. George says he is a gardener. It's pretty clear. Like, he clearly is because he hasn't wrote or finished the sixth book to Winds of Winter. So, there's that. I will say, I'm trying to figure out which one I think is better because a lot of people always, like, talk about, oh, this one's better than this one. I personally don't think one is better than the other. I just think certain people are just easier to adjust to certain ones. For me, for example, as a writer, I am more of a gardener because... Like, I'll have, like, an idea in my head. And the only thing I do before I start is I do point A to point C. B is just whoever is at the beginning, we're going to try and get them to point C, and that's it. It's kind of like how Lord of the Rings is. You have the Fellowship, and the goal is to destroy the ring. How are they going to do it? That's how 
my mind more. So in a way, I feel like that's the Gardner way. Like to me, it's really vague. I don't know anything else is going to happen. Sometimes I just introduce characters in the stories and I'm like, oh crap. But I just say YOLO and just keep going. So my series, my Stone King series is completed. How it started versus how it ended is completely different than how I actually anticipated on. I introduced so many characters. I introduced so many new plots. I did so many different things because of the Gardner way of writing that I felt like it was better that way because originally i actually wrote out notepads of notes and everything of each character origins and lore and everything like that and i didn't use hardly any of it because it feels like you're so restricted and i think that's okay there's some people that like writing like that and that's fine i don't see anything wrong with it but when you are like restricted like that it, it's hard to move into different directions because you have a character named ronald and say ronald is the hero and he only does this, you know, but as an architect, you can only keep it going one way. But as a gardener, you're like, well, what if Ronald does this? But he still ends up going back to the direction that he needs to do. But this way, he has a more of a character arc that way. As long as he goes back on the trail, back on the line that he has to go to, I think that's a really cool idea. Personally, I like the idea of him doing that. I like the gardener way. I think there's really good pros of being a gardener for writing. But I think there's also cons as being a gardener for writing. Most of the cons is when you are writing a really good series, for example, like George does, there's days that he has said that he writes maybe a sentence. So there's also days he says where he just writes all day. And that makes it prolong his series, especially when you get to the point where I feel like in his career, you don't know. Like for him, he doesn't honestly need to finish a series because that he's so successful already with the series i haven't done it's like it's a lot of stress it's like the show was terrible it ended really bad so now you're like oh man now you have more weight on your shoulders of trying to finish the series so i understand the whole process of like the thoughts of what goes on probably through his head and many others to me though i feel like the gardener route is really good like to me i have Every single book I have written has all been through the Gardner style. I always have in my head, I'm like, all right, this is what I want to do. This is how the book's going to end. We're going to YOLO the rest. And that's what I usually do. I don't write out outlines and stuff. I tried the Neil Gaiman one and I really enjoyed doing it. But truthfully, I don't think I'll stick with that because me, myself, I don't like doing that. And I might just say YOLO. Like, my next fantasy series is 10 books. Now, I know what how first how the first book is going to start and i know how the 10th book is going to end so i have to get from point a to point c through 10 books and there's gonna be so much going on in those books that everything's gonna veer off but eventually it's gonna lead to the final conclusion of the book which is really interesting i really like the idea it gives me as a writer freedom to do whatever and you don't constrict your own self and i think that's why the gardener aspect is really good now like i said is it perfect for everyone no. <laughs> to me, though, I really like it. I think it's a really fun way to write. Now, I'm going to revert to George's writing routine. It's not anything wild. I expect it to be difficult, honestly. Like I said earlier, but it's not. It reminds me a lot of the Stephen King one, where Stephen King just writes 2,000 words a day, and that's it. George does the same thing, so I'm like, oh. Well, it, he doesn't write 2,000 words a day, but he writes until he can't write anymore which is like good but it's also bad because like the next day you might be like dang dude i wrote 20 pages yesterday i'm so burnt out i don't need to write today because i wrote 20 pages so technically two days means i wrote for 10 pages can't beat that logic i think that's what goes around through his head so that's probably why george does it that way i could be wrong but to me i feel like it was a pretty easy writing routine it was anything like hard so i enjoyed it i will do another poll of who i should do next for a writing routine i'm looking forward to it i have like 25 authors currently on like a notes of who i would like to do next so i'll just do another community poll and have you guys choose you guys all pick george r, r. martin this time so we'll see who's giving me the next one if you guys made it to the end of the video i do appreciate it make sure you guys check out all my socials down below comment down below what you guys think about george's writing routine or maybe he should just write every day <laughs> And of course, make sure you guys stay safe, stay hungry, and tell someone you love them. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.